Hey, what's happening everybody? Uh, YouTube, Reddit. Um, I want to do a video. Um, this is a video for beginners. Um, I'm a beginner and um, on my page you'll see that it says that you're kind of watching me learn and go, you know, as I go. And um, I do a lot of studying before I do any plant, but today in particular we're talking about the Anubias. Now this one I've already trimmed up and everything, but I want to show you what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm going to attach um, this to that, but there's a few things that you've got to do first. And um, you'll find a lot of products online that, you know, claim are meant, you know, specifically for tying um, these types of plants to rocks or using glue. But I found a really cheap alternative. It's called um, a floral wire. And you can get it at any hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, here in Minnesota, we've got a, uh, it's called Fleet. Anyway, uh, just go to the wire section and you'll find it super cheap. It's just a couple bucks and you get like 20 feet of this stuff. And you just snip it off and it's uh, completely harmless. And you can uh, tighten it, <clears throat> you know, as tight as you need it and loosen it as the plant's growing. Uh, so... As a beginner, teaching beginner, we, we usually all start off at like a PetSmart or a Petco, and these are the types of plants you'll find that have been um, cultured, tissue cultured plants here that are in this agar or auger, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so it's going to have all this jelly gunk in here. And... Um, what I've learned is that these roots are uh, completely benign. Um, once you plant it in the water, it's going to grow new aquatic roots, and these will basically just, you know, essentially just become stagnant roots that won't ever do anything. So uh, it's best to just, I have a bowl of dechlorinated water here, and I just kind of rinse off any excess, whatever gel clumps I found and whatnot. <clears throat> Give it a good rinse, and then I take my scissors, and I'm just going to snip all this junk off. So don't worry. Some people, I've seen some leave the roots. I mean, snip it as close as you can. You know, obviously you'll have a, a few poking out. But anyway, it's going to supercharge it. Uh, this just has a mixture of um, uh, different type of fertilizers. And because it's going through shock and stress right now through all of this, so I'm just giving it nutrients while I decide how I'm going to put this on this uh, dragon stone here. And um, well, I had a piece of wire and I let it go, it doesn't matter, there's plenty of it here. So, the purpose of this is you know, it'll help, uh, help hide it. <clears throat> Also, when I'm tying it and I find a good spot where the roots can start nudging them themselves in. And I find a good spot right here. Yeah, that looks good. It's almost wedged in there without it. And then take your wire. And I'm going to go for underneath so it kind of sits on top whenever I put it in the tank. Okay, here we go. I know I'm making it look a little bit more difficult than it should be, but uh, I got issues using my fingers sometimes. We'll get it. We will get it. All right, here we go. Okay, and um, this floral wire, uh, people will use it on plants that aren't aquatic also, um, for whatever reason. Uh, so it's safe to use. It's not going to release, like the metals aren't going to release anything into the water or anything like that. Um, this wire is meant for, that, meant for this purpose, but see, it's almost like invisible. And now I just have it on there, and I can... Uh, 
you know, plant it how I see fit in the tank. Anubius like shade, so, you know, um, that's kind of up to you. I mean, you put it wherever it makes you happy. If it looks good to you, then awesome. Um, doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Um, as a beginner talking, I've seen so many videos and, um, you know, everyone seems to have their idea of, oh, where things should go. I should put it here because it's going to give it better depth and angle perception and all of this and all, all this technical stuff as to where you want to put it and how your eyes go around the tank. I mean, you know, essentially, you're going to be the one looking at it, you know, who, wherever looks good to you. If it looks all jumbled up in some crazy mess, the chaotic of all these plants, which I do have. I mean, I got this. Here, I'll just show you. Plants everywhere. I'm going to add, you know, and then I'm going to add this in there somewhere. The more plants, the better. You know, you, 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 can, you can always find room for plants. You want the plants, you know, your plant levels. Sorry. Uh, to just be through the... Plants way up here, fish way down here. So there's only four fish in this 40 gallon right now, and the plants are ridiculous. Um, anyway, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, yeah, snip off all the roots. There's no reason they're gonna grow new ones, aquatic ones. Uh, and then, and then also as it grows on this, if I put it somewhere and I decide I don't like it in that spot anymore even though it's growing or whatever, I can always pick it up and move it around. That's what's great about these types of plants is that you can move them. So if you attach them to a rock that is, you know, staying put in the tank and it can't be, it's just too big to be moving around, well, that's where it's going to be. So think about that too. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this helpful. Um, have a great day.